Test 1 Review Phonetics, Phonology, and Morphology. Your attendance, your participation each time we meet is paramount to helping you do really well in this course. Of course, to get ready for this first test, there's a few things that you want to know so you can be fully prepared. Alright, the first three questions they have to do with definitions of phonetics, phonology, and morphology. Each question is worth 10 points. Question four, you need to understand the difference between allophones and phonemes. This is a multiple choice 15 point question. Question five, this is short answer, kind of like a short essay. You need to understand what inflectional and derivational morphemes are, give some examples, and then show how they attach to words. This will be short answer, it's 25 points. Question six is multiple choice. You need to understand these definitions. Phones, phonemes, allophones, and allomorphs in particular, you need to know what an allomorph is and how that can be represented uh, in an example. That's question six, that's worth 10 points. Question seven, and eight, these both focus on what we call free and bound morphemes. They're multiple choice questions, 10 points apiece. Now we get into the fun part. We have phonetics, right? You have, I'll have a word written in the IPA. It'll say this is written as, and you have a blank. You have to type the response into the, uh, the blank there. This is kind of like short answer. That's question nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Each of those questions are between 10 and 15 points. Now question 14, 15, 16, uh, 17. These are all 15 points apiece. I'll give you a word like electricity. I'll say electricity is transcribed phonetically as, and then write the phonetic version of that word. Okay, let's take a look at question 19. It's a 10 point multiple choice question. This is looking at how the pronunciation, sometimes words end in S or Z. For example, you might have excuse versus excuse. And the pronunciation of those words can affect the lexical category of those words. And that's what you need to understand in question 19. Question 20, question 21, question 22. These three questions are are worth a lot of points around between 10 and 40 points. You have to take a word It'll give you the specific instructions. It'll say the following word contains several morphemes. One, divide the word into its component morphemes using the plus symbol. Number two, state which morpheme is the root. And then for each affix, state whether it's inflectional or derivational. If it's derivational, note how it changes a part of speech or meaning of the word. If it's inflectional, note the grammatical information it adds to the word. So you'll see three questions there. This is a pretty big one. And then you have, and, and what, I, what I was just talking about is called isolating morphemes. And then you have question 23. Question 24, question 25, okay, so you have those 23, 24, and 25, these are word diagrams. It'll say draw a diagram for the following word. I'll even give you an example of how I want you to do it. And these are pretty big. These are like 30 to 40 point questions. Very big. So word diagrams. You need to know how to do that. Remember that you separate the word. For example, you take the word reconstruction. So you would say re plus construct plus ION. And then you start with construct, which is a verb. You go to construction, which is a noun. And then reconstruction, which is also a noun. So the word diagrams, you will need to know how to do that on this test.
Question 26, it's another question about derivational or inflectional affixes, right? And I, I guess in this case, I'm trying to show you how sometimes the affix can make the word change from, in this case, maybe a noun thing to a noun person. Think about that. Question 27, it's looking at the, the affixes, again, in this case, inflectional type affixes. You need to know the grammatical information it's adding to the word. And that's it. So those are briefly, those are the most important things that you need to know for this first test on phonetics, phonology, and morphology.